the match begins. Sheffield United will be hoping for a swift start here against Neil Warnock's Huddersfield Town. Here's Jebison, lovely deft layoff to bring in Njai, who rolls it forward. Jebison, lovely back heel to Njai once again. Then he shoots from the edge of the box. Good start with a little bit of bad news, and the ball is played forward. And Jebison's in one on one. He shoots off the chest of the goalkeeper. The Blades have a free kick tossed into the box by Norwood. Heads go up, heads rising before the scrap. The ball is lost by Daniel Ward. He turns to the skies in frustration. McAtee wastes little time in cutting forward. Here is Norwood, the left arm aloft as the players close in in the penalty area. Up go the heads. Lees is able to get the better of Eager. Illiman and Jai, the Senegal World Cup star, pushed it back to Norwood, who lifts it over the top. So Huddersfield Town take the free kick up to the corner of the box where Pearson rises to lever the header into the penalty area. The throw-in is then taken. Chris Basham dived through his opponent pretty much, sends the header away. And now here's an opportunity for Huddersfield to stay on the attack. Corner from the far side there, left. It's floated high into the penalty area. Dragged out of the sky, two-handed there by Wes Fodringham. Sheffield United on the attack here. Baldock rides the challenge, floats in the cross. And the header from Daniel Jebison on the edge of the six-yard box goes up and over the angle of crossbar and post. Illiman and Jai, who's dancing and pirouetting and manoeuvring the ball into Berger. He gets it back, out on the right-hand side. Those orange boots working ten to the dozen. Here is Berger, takes control. Baldock, first-time cross, into the penalty area. Volleyed back by Stevens. Helic heads it clear. Berger brings it down, under pressure. Shuffles it to Robinson. Dummies the shot, works it wide to Ender Stevens. Stevens leaves it for McAtee to Robinson. Lovely deft touch from him into McAtee, who rides the challenge from Kasumu. Still going, McAtee gets it back. They're trying to be a bit too clever here. Here. Norwood will tidy up. Sheffield United stay on the front foot. Now it's Baldock on the near side, which is the left. Back to Stephen, short ball. Then he goes high. Kasumu will mistime his header. McAtee picks it up on the far side. What can the Salford Silver do from here? Jink bends in the cross. Too high for Jebison. And after all of that, and after all of that wonderful one-touch passing and little interchanges and little triangles, a hat from the far side and the ball goes out of play for a goal. Kick Sander Berger here. He uh, has Romani Edmonds Green with him, shoulder to shoulder. Berger beats him, glides to the byline. In goes the cross. Oh, and the flicked effort from Daniel Jebison. It flew across the face of Lee Nichols and the face of goal. Sheffield United get it and the benefit of the free kick decision. Here's Berger to just bend one. And from a central position, right footed, he's curled his shot. There will have to come a stage in this game where Huddersfield will have to try and go for it. We shall see. Here is Huddersfield Town with their first corner of the second half. The ball is bent in high. Pearson's rising. Goal now scramble. Pushed away by Fodringham. Billy Sharp is just being dispatched to warm up. Racing away to the far side. There are four or five blue and white shirts in the penalty area. Heads go up. Arriving late, trying to crash onto it. Matty Pearson here. It's Pearson again. Karoma, who's knocked it through the legs of Basham, into the box. Karoma shoots and brings the save from Wes Fodringham. Pouncing to his left-hand side at full stretch. The ball is pushed away, but the danger is not averted. Here's Rodoni bringing the ball under control as Huddersfield Town look to open the scoring. In goes the cross. It hangs high from Kasumu before a volleyed clearance by Norwood, Pearson and Lees and Helic, all good headers of the ball. In it comes into the penalty area. Sander Berger's having his shirt tucked by Romani Edmonds Green as he gets the merest of touches to the ball with his head. So Rodoni with it. He bends one into the penalty area. Heads go up from Pearson. And the header on the angle is claimed at the near post by West Fodringham. So if you're just tuning in, wondering what's going on, it's goalless here at the John Smith Stadium as a curling effort. Huddersfield Town have taken the lead. And it's Danny Ward from just outside the penalty area who's bent a beautiful, potentially defining goal for Huddersfield Town in their battle to try and beat the drop. And all of Sheffield United's hard work in the first half when they couldn't score undone. Relegation threatened Huddersfield lead.
and it's Huddersfield Town 1, Sheffield United 0. Egan driving on from the centre circle here, carrying Sheffield United forward. He's dispatched the ball to McAtee, continued his run at the dead ball line. Great running from John Egan. The cross was blocked off the shins of Hellick and the Blades get a corner. Most championship minutes for Sheffield United this season. In comes the corner, McBurney's rising. The downward header from him at the near post is half volleyed away by Hellick. Back to the edge of the box there by Robinson. Can Sheffield United equalise in the final quarter of the match? Billy Sharp races after a long John Egan ball down the middle of the park. He'll get there at the corner flag. He brings in Ender Stevens down the left-hand side into the penalty area. He lifts the ball in looking for McBurney. Loose header, partial clearance. McBurney won't be able to recover. It's Headley who volleys it clear. And Karoma strong arms his way from the challenge of Bashan and drives up the middle of the pitch. Karoma into Kazumu, side netting. Baldock stands over the ball, takes on Rodoni, cutting in from the far side, gives it to Doyle, who thought about shooting. It was a similar position to the Blackburn free kick. In it comes from McAtee. Heads go up. Billy Sharps is one of them, but he won't get there. Tom Lees will first. Here's McAtee back on the left corner of the penalty area, toe prodding the ball out, and Huddersfield Town are attacking. Rodoni slightly overruns the ball, then attempts to cross. That cross is blocked. It will be a, a corner to Huddersfield Town from the, the far side. Bent in by Rodoni, Fodringham gets a fist to it. The white gloves punching the ball away for another corner. The ball is bent in by Karoma, quite a bit of fizz on that one. Helic rises and the ball is pushed away. Out to Kasumu, looping the ball on, goes to get it himself. Recovers his footing, flies after the ball, trying to make a diving header. The loose ball is picked up by Doyle, and he switches play out towards the left and Bogle. On his right boot, in goes the cross, Basham! Oh, made the half-volley contact at the byline. The ball breaks to the near side, and McAtee feeds Doyle. He looks up to Baldock, gets the return, goes down under pressure from Rodoni. Doyle is the decoy. Then it's bent in by McAtee, aiming back stick. Baldock, who does have time and space to receive and uh, give it back to Berger, who with a lovely shift of the feet works himself away from quite a heavy challenge. In comes the ball from Fleck. It's skimmed into the penalty area. Final three minutes of normal time to go. In comes the corner. The diving header cleared from the goal scorer, Danny Ward. And a wonderful curling goal it was too. But ultimately, that's from Huddersfield's perspective. Can the Blades get back on terms? In comes the... Cross comes shot from Doyle. 1-0 down thanks to Danny Ward's goal. The ball will be battled for by Jack Rodoni in the far corner. The referee has called full-time.